Hey everybody, Jamie here from Start Riot, and welcome back to Thank Punk It Freitag. Now this week, Lana Del Rey has claimed that she's being sued by Radiohead for her song Get Free's similarities to Radiohead's hit Creep. Now if you've heard both the songs, there is no denying that the two are very similar. Similarly, there's no denying that Lana Del Rey will not have heard the song. It was one of the biggest hits of the 90s and basically gave Radiohead the platform to become what they are today one of the most talked about and widely acclaimed bands around, whether you like them or not. But the crux of the matter comes down to what each party claims the other has said. Lana Del Rey said that she offered 40%, but Radiohead are demanding 100% of the song's rights. Radiohead have claimed otherwise that there's actually no lawsuit incoming, but the two are under talks. It follows on from several high profile incidents in the music industry, like last year's strangest moment of 2017, when Taylor Swift had to give Right Said Fred a writing credit on her song, Look What You Made Me Do. But more importantly, the blurred lines case where Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams were sued by Marvin Gaye's estate for the song's similarity to his song, Got To Give It Up. In the end, Gaye's estate were awarded 7.5 four million pounds in damage a move which basically got rid of robin thick for good so what does this have to do with punk or alternative music at all well if this comes into play i can think of at least five pop punk bands in the uk scene which almost sound indistinguishable from each other in fact if you swap the singers i definitely could not tell them apart and that's before i even get named metalcore or emo or grunge or skate punk genres which have huge overlap between bands so if cases like this come to the alternative seen is punk music doomed and in the end will legal battles like these only serve to harm the music industry after all isn't the story of pop music just a series of people ripping off each other the Beatles could have sued Oasis 10 times over who in turn could have sued Kasabian or Catfish and the Bottlemen and the story is the same for pretty much every genre of music heck if Madonna wanted to turn her legal sights on Lady Gaga I think her career would be over very swiftly I think at the end of the day there's a very fine line between homage and plagiarism and sometimes those are lines get blurred. In actual new music news, Pianos Become the Teeth released a new song, Bitter Red. It's the second song from their upcoming fourth album, Wait for Love, due out February 16th on Epitaph Records. It's got a similar vibe to the first song they released, Charisma, and this material has much more in common with bands like The Hotelier or Sorority Noise or Foxing than it does with their earlier material, which was compared to stuff like Touche Amore or Defeater. There's definitely a very early tip for album of the year on the strength of these two songs alone, and if the rest of the album shapes up as good as these then I'm very excited to hear it. Another album I'm very excited for, Speak Low If You Speak Love released a new song called Safety Net. It's another song from the second album, Near Sighted, from Ryan Scott Graham's solo project. That's out next week on Pure Noise Records. I absolutely adored the first song, Enough, which came out late last year. This song shares some of those electronic influences which I heard on that track. This is a bit more of a trap vibe. I think somewhere between Speak Low's earlier emotional acoustic stuff mixed with something like Wicker Fade, or Lil Peep or even maybe Post Malone. I'm not really into it as much as the first song, but I'm still really excited for the album. Happy Accidents released a new song, Text Me When You Get Home. It's from their second album, Everything But The Here And Now, which is out February 16th on Alcopop Records. This song sees drummer Phoebe take on lead vocals again and sees them explore a more stripped back and indie approach. It's a nice contrast to their usual more energetic and upbeat approach to songwriting. They've also announced some headline shows in March and April just after the record comes out. Washed Out Festival announced 34 bands to their lineup yesterday. Highlights from this announcement include Wallflower, Grieving, I Told I Would Eat You, Everton, Cassells, Horadouse, Waco, grieving the list goes on and on it really is a showcase of some of the uk's finest bands from the diy scene and beyond it takes place in brighton on the 13th and 14th of april i missed it last year i'm gonna try really hard to get down this year because it looks like a great time elsewhere in new music tonight alive released their fourth album underworld today it's their first new album since signing with hopeless records worldwide fallout boy released a new video for wilson in brackets expensive mistakes i might say this album was an expensive mistake at this point I just feel like fallout boy are in that kind of zone that Weezer are in now where they've made their money they've had a lot of success they wrote some great albums and now they just don't really care what people think of them they're just gonna do whatever they want just for giggles really and at a certain point I just have to respect that to be honest do what you want guys you know you're rich it doesn't matter what I say their seventh album mania is out next week might just give it a miss
Muskets released a new video for Umbilical. It's the final track from their fantastic debut album, Chew, which came out last year on No Sleep Records. Placed at number 17 on my albums of the year list for last year, which you can still watch here. It's the first video since their lineup change. Guitarist Dan McKenna left the band. Bassist Dan Smith has taken over his duties on guitars and vocals, while Harry Steele from Rain has joined the band on bass. Their album release shows are this week in Brighton and London. Harker released a video for Plague Your Heart. This song sounds like if the Menzingers and Gaslight Anthem got together to write an 80s power rock song like Boys of Summer. I'm really into it. It's from their debut album No Discordance, which is out 9th of February. I really like it. I think you might do too. And finally, Everton released a new song called Tuesday. It's the second song from their second EP, Your Heaven Held Me Well, out next week on Fox Records. I would describe this as anthemic emo pop. And that's all for this week. Are you Team Lana? Are you Team Radiohead? Does it really matter? The songs sound the same, but... Yeah. Have a great weekend, whatever you do. If you're in Manchester on Monday, come see my band Smother, support Heavy Hearts and Lightcliff at the Castle Hotel. If not, have a great time, but know that you're probably missing one of the shows of the year anyway. Thank you for watching. Thank Punk, it's Friday! <laughs>